Hello, and welcome to session three of the Photo Booth Owners Netcast. In this session, I am going to show you how to use one of our designs from the design shop in Spark Booth 3.5. If you have not already visited the design shop, you can find us at photoboothowners.com forward slash shop. In this session, I will show you how to quickly locate Spark Booth ready designs, make a purchase, extract the downloaded file, and use it in Spark Booth. To get started, let's go to the Photo Booth Owners website and visit the design shop. Here, we are greeted with lots of beautiful designs. We can filter these quickly on the left hand side by selecting our photo booth software. In this session, I am going to use the first design as it is Spark Booth ready. I can quickly verify this by the tags and see Spark Booth. I'm going to select a license, add it to my cart, and then check out as I would on any other normal e commerce site. Shortly after the purchase, you will receive an email with a link to download the file. Once you've downloaded the file, you will need to extract it to your hard drive so that you can work with the file's contents inside of Spark Booth. I've downloaded them to my desktop. If we look inside of the package, we'll see several pieces that we will use throughout consistently throughout most of our purchases. We have a background.jpg and .ping for different software packages, an overlay.ping, your licensing file, a Photoshop file, template.psd, a coordinates.txt, and a readme.txt. We'll open up the coordinates.txt quickly, even though Spark Booth does not use it. Inside here, we can see all of the XY coordinates, the height and width for all photos inside of the design. If there is rotation, this will be included also. If it is omitted, then there is a zero degree rotation applied. Next, we'll open up the readme.txt, as since we are using Spark Booth, it is important that we go look at the layout. This design has specified we used a Spark Booth layout of two by two left, 4x6 landscape. This is a preset and if you're using Spark Booth you're familiar with this. Now that we know what our layout is we'll open up Spark Booth and go into the settings tab. Once here we would need to go to the photo layout screen and from the drop down list box select our layout style. We can now select our background.jpg and our overlay.ping files to complete our design. First I will do the background.jpg. I've navigated to my extracted file which I've conveniently put on my desktop as mentioned before. <clears throat> Next I will select the overlay ping. I would like to note though that you are free to edit the text in either of our licenses on the design shop. I am using the default here. So selecting the overlay.ping, this will complete our design. After closing the window, we are now ready to use Spark Booth. Since this is not a tutorial on how to run Spark Booth and they have excellent information on their website, I will not go through how to use Spark Booth. That is it for this session. I wanted to quickly show you how to purchase and use one of our designs in Spark Booth 3.5. As you can see, it is pretty straightforward and the process is fairly easy. And we are working hard to make it even easier. If you have any suggestions or requests, I do ask that you leave them in the design request section of the forum site. This is also a great place to make requests for general designs. We will do our best to create designs that meet these requests. With that, I will wrap this session. And until next time, happy boothin' and look for me at photoboothowners.com.